Hi, I'm Jeff Dixon, and this is the Church at 434 in Motion, but this is a very special episode. This is the 1,000th episode of the Church at 434 in Motion. Now, if you're watching this, you already know what that is, hopefully. Uh, that means that you're a part of what our streaming network looks like. We have a number of programs that um, are released each evening at 7 o'clock. And so you can watch it as it's released, and then it is archived. And so just like you do on any other streaming network, you can pick out the program that you would like, you can find the number of episodes, and you can watch away. Now, some of you have watched us on uh, Facebook or Meta. Uh, some watch us on YouTube. Some watch on Rumble. Uh, some watch at the Church at 434 uh, website, or some watch on the 434 app. Wherever you're watching from, we're glad that you're joining us, and this is episode 1000. Who'd have thunk it? 1,000 episodes. Now, we want to do something special for this one. We were going to bring in all of our guests from previous episodes, but they couldn't show up. Uh, we were going to do a rewind of all the things that we had done. We were going to show you a little clip of all 1,000 episodes, but we didn't have time for that. Um, we were going to take our favorite moments from all those episodes and make like a highlight reel or a look back. And, um, well, we were all, eh, we figured that would be boring. So we didn't do any of that. But what we did is we created this episode to give you a challenge. This is our thousandth episode challenge. And so are you ready? This is it. The challenge is, since this is episode 1000, over the next year to do 1000 things that will bring you closer to God, reflect God in someone else's life, impact the world for God. And you say, well, what does that look like? Well, a thousand things over the course of a year. So figure out how that works. Okay? That means with 365 days a year, let's say you did three a day. Okay? You'd be shooting over that thousand mark. But every day you're going to not quite make it. So you might miss a little bit. You got, you got some wiggle room in there. Some days you might have to make up the rest. Three things a day is your goal. If you do it for a year, you'll get to a thousand. So this is what it looks like. You're going to take three times a day for the next year. And on purpose, you're going to encourage someone else and bless someone else's life by a word of encouragement. Three times a day. Do that every day. You'll be able to look back over the course of the year and know you've done that over a thousand times. Maybe, uh, maybe it's as simple as uh, I, want to, um, I want to spend more time with God. So I'm going to take five minutes three times a day and really just take an extra moment or two to study God's word, learn a verse, learn a passage, and do that thousand times over the course of the year. Uh, maybe it's um, taking a moment and you doing what we would call a random act of kindness, but around here we just call it a random act of blessing because you're blessed to bless. And maybe you're going to bless someone else on purpose, and, and you do this all the time, but maybe on purpose for those three times a day, you're going to target somebody that you're going to bless for life. So when you get to the end of the day, you can write that in your journal and know you've kept a count, keep a log, that you did it your three times. Uh, maybe uh, you're going to get better at journaling. Maybe you're going to journal three prayers a day and three different things that you're praying specifically and you're going to journal them out. Keep notes of it. Not just pray, just about anything, but some specific things that you're praying about. Wouldn't it be awesome to go back at the end of the year and look back over the thousand prayers that you prayed specifically and then see how God had answered them? Wouldn't that be amazing? Maybe you're going to listen to all 1,000 episodes of the Church at 434 in Motion. That's a good thing to do. Go back and listen to all of them over the course of the year. Three a day, you can nail it down. You can catch back up to anything that you missed. It can be anything and it can be everything, but it is on purpose. And when you're doing it, think of it as stepping forward and taking the challenge of doing something that will draw you closer to God and closer in your walk with God. At the end of the year, we can look back and say, were you able to do it a thousand times? What is it going to be? It's up to you. What's it going to look like? I have no idea. But here's what I know. The ripple effect will be that you will change and impact the world around you. We talk about touching and changing the world. We change the world one person at a time, one life at a time. And it's when you use your gifts and follow your call that you can make that kind of impact in the world. And so, it's up to you. Three times a day for the next year, a thousand things that you're gonna do. 
And then, believe it or not, a year from now, we're going to check back in with you and see how you did. So until then, until next year, no, not really, just till the next time we release the next episode, but we are going to check in to see if you fulfilled your challenge a year from now. So get ready and take the challenge. Now, if you're watching this, and let's say, well, we're recording it in October. Let's say you don't see it till December. It's all right. Still got a year, don't you? You can watch and catch up and see if you were able to complete that challenge a year from today. Good luck. May God bless you and impact the world.